Hey everyone, welcome back to another recovered video. It's very common to hear we can activate Windows on this device. So have you struggled or are you struggling with the error code on Windows? Stick around as we explore some easy and simple solutions to resolve this activation problem and get your Windows system back up and running smoothly. Before getting started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, drop a comment below, and now let's begin. Do you ever wonder what the reason is for the Activision error code on Windows? Sometimes you have firewall restrictions, while other times it's because we're using a pirated version of Windows. So let's explore some common reasons for the Activision error code on Windows. First up, firewall restrictions. Sometimes the firewall prevents Windows from licensing files over the internet. And as a result, the user encounters the Activision error code on Windows. Fast startup feature. The fast startup feature helps you speed up your PC's boot time, but sometimes this feature might also limit some functions on your PC. For instance, it could prevent giving you access to BIOS or UEFI settings, or even exert influence on your Windows updates. So the fast startup feature might be just a reason you are facing the activation issues in your device. Pirated Windows version is another reason. Yes, you've heard me right. If you try to attempt to activate a pirated version of Windows, you may often encounter the Activision error. And lastly, corrupted system files. Corrupted or damaged system files can also cause the Windows error. This error typically occurs when system file corruption interferes with the integrity of licensing information or disrupts essential services needed for activation. Are you unable to activate Windows and are in search on how to fix the Activision error code? Well, here are five methods you can try. Method one, run Windows Update and activation troubleshooters. Windows troubleshooters are always beneficial whenever you face some sort of system issue. But in this case, we will examine how both Windows Update and activation troubleshooters can aid in fixing this activation issue. To get started, the first thing that you need to do is open the settings by pressing the Windows button plus I. From here, you need to navigate to Update and Security. Now you need to click on the Troubleshoot option in the left-hand panel, and then click the Additional Troubleshooters option. Once you've done that, you can scroll down and select Windows Update. From here, you can just click the Run the Troubleshooter button and follow the instructions mentioned on screen. The next thing you need to do here is run the Activation Troubleshooter. To do that, go to Update and Security, then click Activation and follow the on-screen prompts. Method two, reinstall the product key using the software licensing management tool. If you are facing the Activision error code while using an existing product key, we would suggest to uninstall and install again that same key while using command prompt. For this, you will have to run a command using the software licensing management tool. So here's a method on how you can uninstall and reinstall the product key on your Windows device. The first thing that you need to do is press Win plus R to open the Run Command dialog box. Now type CMD and press Control Shift and Enter to open an elevated command prompt. After that, run the following command to check your current product key status. Now you can uninstall the existing product key by using this following command. And once you've done that, you can reinstall the product key. To do that, replace this command with your actual product key and just wait for the process to complete and restart your computer afterwards. Method three, disable the fast startup feature. The fast startup feature helps you speed up your PC's booting time, but it can also limit the functions of that same PC. So to fix this issue, all you have to do is disable the fast startup feature. To do that, you need to open the Run Command dialog box by clicking Win plus R and then go to Power Options by typing powercfg.cpl and then clicking OK. From here, you need to select on the Choose What the Power Buttons Do option on the left side panel. 
and then click on the change settings that are currently an available option. Once you've done that, you need to click on the checkbox next to turn on Fast Startup Recommended. And after that, click on Save Changes and restart your device. Method four, repair corrupted system files using SFC and DISM. In this case, you can utilize the built-in DISM and SFC tools to search and repair all of the corrupted system files on your PC. To get started, run the DISM tool by opening the command prompt and running the following command to scan and repair your corrupted system. After SFC completes, run the following command to repair any image issues. Then you can restart your computer once the process is complete. Method number five, temporarily disable Windows Defender firewall. To use this method, you have to temporarily disable your firewall and then turn it back on after activating Windows. You can do this by following the steps below. Open the control panel and then go to System and Security and choose the Windows Defender Firewall. Now you need to click the Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. And after that, click the Turn Off Windows Defender for private and public networks. Now click OK and restart your PC. Feeling like you've hit a dead end with your lost data? Fear not. There is a bonus method waiting for you. Recover it. Get ready to bring back your lost data super easily because Recovered Data Recovery is a powerful tool to retrieve lost or deleted files on your PC. And here are the steps to use it. First, let's visit the official website, download the software and install it on your Windows PC. Once installed, open the software. Recover it will detect all connected storage devices, so choose the one from which you want to recover lost or deleted files. Click the Start button to begin scanning and choose a location. Recover it will perform a deep, intelligent scan to locate all lost data. Once the scan is complete, you'll see a list of recoverable files, so preview the files to ensure they are the ones you need and select the files you want to recover by clicking the Recover button. Now specify a safe location location on your PC to save the recovered files. Avoid saving them back to the same drive from which they were lost. As we wrap up our guide on fixing activation error codes, we hope you get some insights on how to fix this specific activation error code on Windows. And remember, accidents happen. But with the proper knowledge and tools, you can always fix the error. Subscribe to our channel for more informative content just like this and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Till next time, stay safe and keep your windows away from these errors. Goodbye.